It's the Roommate Game, Cyclones Edition. And today we have the Ryans, Selmer and McAuliffe. He says he's an early bird, but he sleeps until 11.30 every morning. He's a night owl, not an early bird. That is false, I am a morning person. No, he's not. He wakes up, you said that the first night. I was like, all right, cool, because I'm an early There's only so much you can too. do in a small hotel uh, when we don't have to be on the bus until one o'clock. I knew he was going to say that. That's why I put he's not an early bird, even though he says he is. He I'm woke up. Hey, final. You wake up at 11.30, you're not a morning person. It's fine, I'm a morning person. Selmer is for sure a night owl. Um, Kind of just lays in his bed for hours upon end at night time. I'll be sitting there. Yeah, at night though. Key. Night owl. Uh, we'll be watching The Office and he'll just never go to sleep. He's just, he's addicted to his phone. He's always on his phone. Are you kidding me, dude? Uh, I'll be talking to him and he'll just be on his phone. He won't even hear me. I'll be like, hey, hey. Not true. All right, whatever. Summer's favorite pitch to throw is in fact a sinker arm side. Um, you know, he went to Maryland, I don't know if you guys already know that, but he threw about 90% sinker arm side, didn't really throw his off speed. So yes, I would say that his favorite pitch is sinker. Sinker, arm side is correct also. There we go. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, man. There, back foot slider to a lefty. He was right, slider glove side. Um, like Selmer, I am a sinker ball pitcher, but my favorite pitch to throw, kind of my out pitch is slider, back foot slider, and you know, he got that one right, so good for him. I know you. No big deal. I almost said sinker arm side, but I didn't want to have the same as you. I don't know how to spell Dubai, but I know it's Dubai because he always talks about it. But I would say second time is Toronto because that's where Drake lives, and he loves Drake. Or anywhere that Drake's performing, that'd be his spot to go. Well, my w number one spot was Dubai, and also I'm not sure if that's how you spell it correctly. Um, <laughs> you don't know how to spell it. He's, it's not right, I just received word, but he's also not wrong. Wherever Drake's performing, I'd love to go, and you know, he's, I get two points for that one, for sure. Toronto. That's where he lives, right? That's where he lives, right? Yeah. But he performs all over the world. But you want to go to Toronto. You didn't spell it correctly, it is D-U-B-A-I. D-U-B-A-I? Oh, I did. Oh, D-B-I-I. <laughs> if Summer could go anywhere in the world, he would go to the New York Stock Exchange <laughs> as he's obsessed with investments and stuff like that. You know, as I said, he's a night owl. Um, every night before we go to sleep, he tells me how the average mutual fund increases 12% per year. <laughs> and, you know, day in and day out, he's always talking about what's going on on Wall about. Street and stuff like that. So he would definitely go to the New York Stock Exchange over on Wall Street. <laughs> It's not a bad thing to talk about. I put Hawaii, but mm, it's probably wrong. True. It's wrong. He would rather go here. <laughs> All right. Average mutual fund, twelve percent. Twelve percent. Drake's most recent album. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, uh, I can't describe how obsessed he is with Drake. He'll go around and just start like rapping his own lyrics, and it's unbelievable. So Drake's new album, also. I mean, he's making me think a little, because now I feel like I kind of need that, but I'd like to have a map, <laughs> oh you know? Kinda, That's not even close to what you would want. Trying to help my way around the island. Um, you can walk around I, I will put that album into consideration for sure. What are you going to say? He would have the investment book for dummies. Uh, <laughs> he has that hanging around in his hotel drawer. Uh, At random times, I'll see him just reading through it. Um, <laughs> I feel like he claims he knows everything in the book and he just keeps reading it, but who knows? Who knows for sure? So he would definitely have this. My phone would have all that on it. It would, but just you get more knowledge from this thing. All right. <laughs> you guys stumped me here, not gonna lie. I have no clue what his middle name was. Um, I took a complete guess with John. I feel like that's a very common middle name here. Um, what is it? What Andrew. Is it? Andrew. Andrew. Even right. Andrew. That's not a good middle name. Are you kidding me? It My parents gave me that middle name. Ryan John, Ryan John would be better, but... Ryan John. Yeah, you guys stumped me. I had no clue. Please don't ask me the same. <laughs> I honestly don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> 
Oh, God. Uh, close. It's Francis. Francis. Um, Brian Francis, yes. Okay. Um, I, will. I, I have no idea. One thing. So, we better learn about each other. Yeah, I mean, this is good for both of us, you know. We'll talk about this later tonight. But uh, Francis is my middle name. Drake would be a better middle name, but, you know, this is given to me by my family, so I'll stick with this one. 